An Air France passenger jet has disappeared on a flight from Rio de Janeiro to Paris with more than 200 people on board. For the latest details, we're joined from London by our Europe correspondent, Philip Williams. Now, Phil, apart from the fact the plane is missing, do we know anything else about what happened to it? Well, it's a breaking story. Uh, there are 228 uh, passengers and uh, air crew on that flight. It should have arrived uh, about three hours ago, so clearly it's well overdue. It went off the radar screens about eight hours ago. But what I can tell you, uh, AFP are just reporting that uh, they have reports that it was hit by lightning after fierce storms in the Atlantic, and that accords with what uh, Reuters are also reporting, uh, that uh, there was a press conference by Air France just a couple of minutes ago. They reported an automatic uh, uh, notification from the aircraft to air traffic controllers that there were electrical short circuits uh, after severe turbulence, and that would be consistent with uh, the reports of a severe storm. There were also meteorological reports of a, a cold front moving through that area, about the area that they would have been at that time. So it looks initially as though it could possibly be weather-related. Uh, Phil also reports that the Brazilian Air Force is conducting a search off the northeastern coast of Brazil. Yes, they're looking at an area that they think uh, was, was the last reported areas that this plane might have been in, although they're not exactly sure. It's about 300 kilometres northeast of the uh, Brazilian city of Natal. And uh, they're now combing that area for, uh, well, hopefully for survivors, uh, because we know for a fact that it can't still be in the air. Uh, there is no land area that they could have possibly landed safely on and not been reported, so that we know that, unfortunately... Uh, there is extremely high likelihood that this has ditched in the sea and it's now really a recovery operation, hopefully a rescue operation, uh, and that uh, hopefully there'll be some, uh, perhaps hopefully many survivors. But, of course, there's enormous uh, worry. Uh, they've got a crisis centre set up at Charles de Gaulle Airport now, which is, was the destination for the relatives, extremely worried relatives, being shielded from, uh, from journalists at the moment. They have doctors, they have counsellors ready there, but nobody yet knows what's happened to this plane are there in, a, any survivors? So it's an extremely worrying period for all concerned. All right, we'll leave you there. Thanks for that, Phil. And Late Line Business will cross back to Philip Williams if there are any developments on that story.